there, my little duckling. So today in DML, we will be hatching another divine dragon. And this egg looks so cool. I think out of all of the divines, the Isis dragon has the coolest egg. At least to me. I think it's to do with the fact that it's blue. So the Isis dragon has incredible magic power and is said to protect the earth, the skies, and even fate itself. In its spare time, however, it enjoys cuddling with its mate, the Osiris dragon. Aww. That is actually really cool. The, the Osiris dragon and Isis are basically, you know, lovebirds. How about that? I mean, I've said myself, the Osiris kind of freaks me out. But, you know, if that's what the Isis likes, you know, power to her. Absolute power to her. So, we do also get quite a few gems for the crowded nursery event. Not bad. So, we have little Quez. Little Quez here. And I have to say, the the sun on top of its head, like, is that even a sun? It's like some weird horseshoe with a big orange ball in it, I guess. But, looks super strange. Super strange, but I do like the baby. I love the blue colouring on this dragon so much. And I really, really love the little, I guess see-through almost silk piece of cloth on its tail here look at it it looks so cool it's like a veil or something like that but i absolutely adore the clothing that they put on this dragon so you know the isis is also not one of the best divines in the game you know when you've got ra and hathor and that around but um i really do like it, the clothing on this on this isis dragon and what, what are you doing what are you doing you're, you're eating in front of the discord server what is going on uh don't look at my desk by the way that may be covered in sherbet and random garbage here have all the food in the world have it have it all have it all god she's gonna be fat soon after eating all of that food but there you go there's us hatching this new divine but now that we've actually hatched her, we have to start hatching our Ra Dragon because he's going to take 3 days and 20 hours to hatch with VIP, like the other Divines. It's just, I need at least one spot free so that we can do the Egyptian mission stuff. So, I would hatch the other Divines that we have as well. Oh, and there's our Pyramid of the Moon, by the way. That's the, like, £2 ticket generator thing that we bought. Thank you for that, Max. But... Now we've got the Erlang Shen, we've got a ton of cool decorations, uh, we've got the Anubis dragon in here still. We've got so many dragons that we've never hatched for this Android account. They're just stuck in inventory limbo forever. But anyways, aside from that, we have also made progress on the boss challenge. Although rollbacks and server issues are making the event even more difficult than it has to be. Which is a pain, but there's the Osiris dead, so I imagine Isis is probably not very happy with us now, since we just murdered her her mate. Um, don't tell her about it. Just don't tell her about it. So now we have a ton more rounds to go, as many as we want to get as many tickets as we want, really. Uh, we probably won't get past round four, because I'm not losing any more sleep over these events. I do want to open up as many divine chests as we can get because we've gotten decently lucky so far on this account. We got five pieces for the envoy there. I'm not, I'm not fussed about that. And we did get 40 pieces for the Osiris the other day. So, you know, give us two more 40 pieces. We got a 40 for the priestess. Look, you're tempting me here again. Look, that could have been an Osiris piece again. You don't have to play me dirty like that. As long as we're at least getting 10 pieces or above every five chests that we open, I think that would make me pretty happy, to be honest. It doesn't happen every time, but that would be my ideal scenario, shall we say. So, our luck wasn't too incredible, but still, we made good progress on that Priestess Dragon there. Not, not as bad as it could have been. And on our main account, you know, I haven't really been here that often. So how about we do some enchantment fights for today? I haven't done any en enchantment fights in probably like, I don't know, five days or so. I know that if you want to get 
a divine upgraded, then realistically, a lot of people recommend you do at least 20 enchantment league fights a day. Um, I would say, on average, if you take the amount of enchantment fights I do through the whole week, I probably do an average about three a day. So, to say I'm basically behind schedule for, you know, upgrading our Hermes dragon here is probably an understatement. But, you know, considering you need, I think it's something like 400,000 trinkets to upgrade a divine from, you know, enchantment 3 to 4, it takes a lot of time and effort. And yes, 400,000, I'm not joking when I say that. It's literally like either 390,000 or 400 and something thousand. You can check it on the wiki whenever you want to, but you know, considering you get like a hundred sometimes max per fight, uh, I don't even want to think about it a lot of the time. I just, you know, throw it away, say, na na na, la 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 la, I'll think about you another day. But you can't do that. If you genuinely want to upgrade your divines, you have to sit down, grind it out, do these god-awful enchantment fights over and over again until the day you die. And so, I have talked about it quite a lot, but a lot of people say, but how can I get enchantment materials if I can't beat the people in the highest enchantment league spots? Well, you've always got to remember that you do have the opportunity to, I guess, de-rank, you can call it, in the enchantment league, where if you intentionally lose fights, so you bring in some terrible dragons, pop them in, lose with them, lose points, then you'll get easier opponents. If you go too far down, you will get worse chests, and so you won't get as many materials or as many trinkets. But overall, if you can do, like, six dragons worth of fights instead of just one fight up in the highest league, you'll end up getting more trinkets than that in the long run. So, if you are someone that struggles majorly with actually doing enchantment fights, that's probably the best advice that I can give you. Just de-rank a bit, and, I mean, try your best. Because obviously every so often, you will, unfortunately, run into people that, you know, just have random level 80s, or if you have, like, level 20s, they might have a random level 60 or something. But, you know, you've got plenty of opportunities to go back in, try again, unless your dragons are you know, a very low level, and you actually can't do any fights. Because, you know, the issue with Divines is the fact that even when you are, like, at my point where you have three plus level 80 dragons, you still have to sit there and grind for, like, 900 years. 900 years. I think that's an understatement, in fact. But, you know... You have to do it at some point. We only have 4,000 trinkets, so times that by another few tens of thousands and we'll be there. Haha! <laughs> Ugh. Such a pain in the butt. But you know, I guess it's my choice to play the game. Who else can I blame but myself? I could have just used legendaries instead of using any divines. But I can't blame anyone else for forcing me to use him. Following that logic, that is my own problem, isn't it? Um, I don't think we can even do this with our Archangel, so whatever. I'm just going to use Andy for that. It's just easier than letting him die and not be able to use him later. So let's open these up. 36 Legendary, even if they're low grade. Every time I see it, you know, it's still useful. We still may level up our Archangel eventually. Maybe, maybe not. But, you know, just in case, you know, we have been hoarding a lot of food. Not enough to fully upgrade him. But, like, do we have enough? We do have enough to actually enchant him to level 3. So let's go do that. I've got no other legendary to enchant. So there you go. Very good, Ander. Very, very good. But now, if we want to get him to enchantment level 4, it's going to cost 32 legendary. And I'll be the first to tell you that that's going to be a lot. That's going to be way too much. So, um, 
let's just ignore that issue for now. We will fuse all of these up into some higher grade mats. There you go. I've used all of the 4,800 or so trinkets that we had. And we have a, a total of zero extraordinary divine pieces. Isn't that just nifty? I swear, every time I think about the Enchantment League, I am just going to complain from here on out. Without fail, I will always complain. I think it's just my thing at this point. It is just my thing. <sighs> but, you know, we've, we do have some arena fights that we can do as well. So I'm going to go and do these, get these out of the way. Hopefully we'll go back up to Dragon Scale 1. Because I think we're in D D2, aren't we? Yeah, we got demoted to Dragon Scale League 2. So hopefully we can go back into Dragon Scale League 1. Just because I like to test out the team every now and then. It's like, ooh, what spicy dragons do the enemies have? Are we going to be able to beat them up? Oh, look, everyone has a Hathor dragon now. So, haha. <laughs> Ugh. I'm not looking forward to it. Like, when we have to go against Hathor dragons, we are going to have to have training. We're going to have to have clan dragon powers. We're going to have to do so much to try and beat those dragons. Dragon Fury Essence is going to get used out of the wazoo. So, maybe we'll start needing more Dragon Fury Essence more often now. I mean, to be honest with you, as soon as you finish the main map, you don't really use Dragon Fury Essence anyway. Unless you are trying to get the Warlord and Tsunami Dragons and stuff like that. So maybe it actually gives it a use for a change? But even then, would we be able to beat those fights? I don't know. Like, 288 base health or whatever it is is... No bueno. No bueno. Not at all. So, you know, I did enjoy being able to hatch another divine today. And we will have more divines to hatch very soon. So, you know, bear with me. And don't forget that even though this is chapter 4 of the Divine event, and technically it's the end of the event, you do have an extra week to actually hatch all of your Divines if you are going for the Hathor. So don't feel like you have to hatch them, like, today. Or you will, like, lose out, because there's 11 days and 20 hours, and as long as you hatch them within that time frame, you will unlock the Hathor Dragon. So, don't panic too much, but do be aware that Divines do take, like, eight days grand total. Basically, you know, with, um, you know, actually getting them in the events and then the four days or so to hatch them. So, you know, it's up to you, really. Do it whenever you want, but just make sure you do it before the end of the next 11 days. So, I'm gonna go vamoose, like I normally do, go and deal with some stuff. So, thank you for joining me, best of luck with everything you're doing, and until the next time I see ya!